by wireless from the BBC, Her Majesty the Queen of the Netherlands. Fellow Hollanders, the lights have gone out over free Holland, where only two weeks ago there was a free nation of men and women brought up in the cherished tradition of Christian civilization. There is now the stillness of death, oppressed, threatened, watched on every side by a power that would tear out all hope from the soul of man. The unhappy people of Holland can only pray in silence. For those who have lost their voice, but not their hope or their vision in the struggle against the onslaught of barbarism. Long live the Netherlands. Mr. Timbo, I apologize for the intrusion. They are collecting all radios. I can see that. A Dutch policeman assisting them. We do what we must. The radio, yes? Upstairs, in the parlor. Get it. Many beautiful clocks here. Bavarian? The cabinet looks as if it's a bearing of works. Yeah, 1886. You know watches? Clocks? My father is a watchmaker. I grew up under his workbench. And look what you've grown into. What district? Mattenbrau. Oh. Mattenbrau. Mattenbrau. 1895. Magnificent. But you should have seen that watch when it came in. The way some people treat a watch. No care. No. Understanding. It was a gift on my 70th birthday. To Grandpa Tenboom. From the children of Harlem, 26th of March, 1931. Get him to home. Any other radios in the house? No, none. Good day, then. I don't want anything too expensive, you understand? Oh, there's this one. Seven jewels. 
in a Swiss factory, but all the craftsmen are German immigrants. It's 42 guilders. It's for an anniversary. We could spend a little more. Oh, well, there's just one. Barmendorf works. Uh, excuse me for one moment. Papa, are you going out? I will not gather around this house and do nothing. Papa? Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. Uh, 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 yes, uh, uh, you see, you could have it engraved. Uh, or you could order it in uh, white gold. Uh, the white gold is 60. Minister, 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 must come forward according to the following Minister, Take your star. Next. Take your star. Next. Take your star. Next. Take your star. You shouldn't be here. I've come for my star. They're for Jews. You don't have a J on your identity card. You could get it for me. If we all wear them, they wouldn't know the difference between a Gentile and a Jew. Go home, please. Go home. I will wear my star, and I won't take it off until God tells me to take it off. The God of Abraham and Isaac, and my God, too. Who's leader? Jan will be the leader. Harry, quick, turn around. Good morning. Isn't it Mr. Baum? Children, stop here. The watchmaker shop. Ten Boom, where for you the straat. Yeah. You came for our radio. I wrote to my father. I told him about your shop. Who are those boys? Why are they being allowed to torment that man? They are young Dutch patriots. He was hurt to make public statements derogatory to the Reich and our Führer. They are expressing their indignation. Patriots. Who are these children? I teach a class. I tell them about God. At least I used to. This will be the last one. Thanks to your new directive concerning unauthorized meetings. Mr. Boom, the measures are temporary. Once all this is over, when order has been restored, then all the Aryan peoples will live together as brothers in our life. Men live together as brothers, only in the kingdom of our Lord, nowhere else. May we go. Come. Some cookies. Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> Frank comes running for the cookies. <laughs> Lisa? Ah. Carol? Ah, oh, yeah. Yeah. Ah. Cookies. Mm -hmm. Ah. <laughs> cookies? I, I may not be able to be with you for a while. Ah. But Jesus will still be there. Always watching over you. You see, without Jesus, we are like this, empty. We can do nothing. 
but then Jesus fills us with his love. Then we are full. Yeah. We can do anything. We can do anything. Nothing serious, Pastor. A little bit dirt, maybe. It's been losing five seconds a day. Maybe a good cleaning. Mm, fine. You can do it now. While I'm here, it really would be most helpful. Yeah? Good. I'll go up and have a chat with your papa. I hear he's been wearing a Jewish star. Stubbornness is the child of pride, and pride is the first of the seven deadly sins. I'll speak to him about it. Oh, I need to be back at the church by 1.30. It will be ready. Hello, Father. Dr. Heemstra. Mr. Ball, I can only stay for a moment. milk for him, not soup. Good Lord, you don't intend to keep it. But you can't. It's illegal. You could all be arrested. He's beautiful. <laughs> Pastor. The Lord must have sent you here. You live in the country. Nothing could be safer. It's impossible. I, I, I have my own family to think of. Um. We could lose everything for that child. Where would my church be without a shepherd? Oh, but... No, Betsy. The pastor has decided. It is the law. And Christians must obey the law. Think what you are risking for the sake of one Jewish baby. And will you report us, Pastor, if the baby must stay alive with us? Corey, we are meant to obey the law of this state if it does not go against a higher law of God. Pastor, you want me to take off my star. Very well. I will not bear it. And we will keep the child. As a Christian, I am sorry when any man must suffer. No matter who he is. What his race. But remember, it is the Jews who gave us the Bible and our savior. It is on your heads. I'll pick up my watch tomorrow. Good day, Tenbo. Ladies. God forgive him. He did not mean it. How can that man call himself a Christian? If a mouse lives in the cookie jar, that doesn't necessarily make him a cookie. <laughs> what do we do? We must have milk. He should go to the country. Be careful, he'll suffocate. No. Where will you send him? God will know. Doors are opening all over Holland. Last week, we had a Dutch farm girl and a Prussian baroness in the same bed. Oh. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. And now you'll have a little Moses in the basket. Mm. <laughs> Corey, please. Thank you. Camilla. Yeah, you must not cry. 
You certainly are organized. Well, it's not the first time. We are a way station. For a day or for a week. You get this from us, Willem? German Jews before the occupation, and now the Dutch. We do what we can. But the Nazis will not be satisfied until there's not a Jew left in Europe. They have touched the apple of God's eye. I pity them. I hate them. Oh, Corey, you can't hate anyone and work for the Lord. You could have told us, Philip. He might have helped. The important thing is to get out of the plane, out of here. <laughs> You'll be hard pressed to explain a certain gift from heaven. Son, I will walk with you one little way. Bye, Moses. We have been managing all right, Ricardo. No, no, I do. Sometimes. We've been getting potatoes and, and occasionally eggs, even. Uh, so far, we haven't done too badly. And of course, we. <sighs> is this the Dutch farm girl? Grandpa. Kik, tell me, did you get anything? The carbon from the vase basket. If you hold it up to the light, you can just make it out. Thank you. You see, Papa, we have a contact in the Gestapo office. Hush. He gives us a deportation list whenever he can. All right, Kik? Uh-huh. Bye, Grandpa. God bless you, Kirk. Steady it with one hand. Good. Papa. Every day now, they send 400 Jews from Amsterdam Central Station. We reach those we can. Do we know anyone on the list? Please, I, I, I'm sorry to, to inconvenience you. Upstairs. We have met. Oh, well, uh, it was he had late. no place to go. Uh, 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 he's a professor. Yeah. Well, I'm studying with him. Uh, they've closed the university. Yeah, all the Jewish teachers were forced. <coughs> uh, Betsy. Good morning. Again, Professor. I apologize for the intrusion, Mr. Temple. Please. Professor, will you do us the honor of asking the blessing? Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech olam, hamotzi lechem min haaretz. Amen. Amen. How 
how fortunate Aunt Beth had big feet. Yes. Mm. Now, now uh, when were you born? Born? Mm. Oh. Uh, 19th August, 1885. Father's name? At uh, Tenboom, Caspar. Mother? Tenboom, Cornelia. Her maiden name? Miss Tenboom. If we are stopped, I... I could never pass as you. Professor Zena, there are no ifs in God's world. Now, he brought you to this house, and he will see you get safely away. This is very turn, Professor. Stay close with me. I'll try. Father's help. You should have seen Professor Zena getting into the boat, with Catherine's father attending him like he was Queen Wilhelmina boarding the yacht. <laughs> Cornelia, do you think you are enjoying this a little too much? Enjoying? No, oh, I was terrified. If I hadn't been able to laugh at him, all dressed up like Betsy. Oh, thank God. He kept the patrols away. Be sure to save a piece of cake for Willem's friend. Yeah. Friend? It's all very mysterious. Someone he wants us to meet. What did Willem say when you told him about Professor Zena? This is not some... some game you play when the mood strikes. If you become involved in this work, people will be forced to trust you with their lives. I told you, Willem. We gave him my papers. Uh, we thought it out. Very carefully. And if they questioned him? Was he supposed to sing soprano? No. He was going to have uh, Quincy Trout. Excuse me. But you wander along the canal, picking someone out of thin air. How did you know you could trust him? I knew the man. And I knew what the Lord had told me. Papa, you are the master of this house. The master of this house commands that we open the door to anyone who knocks. We cannot afford to ignore anyone who seriously engages in our work, whatever their methods. Perhaps you will allow us to assist your efforts. Thank you for the delivery, Mr. Smith. Only for emergencies. We have a contact at exchange, but you can never be certain that the line is not tapped. But you would be expected to develop your own sources. The less contact you have with me, or with anyone else, the better. Willem. We know half of Harlem. 
We have friends everywhere. Dear lady, knowing them is one thing. Knowing their political views. God knows. And we will ask him to lead. Oh, we appreciate your concern, Mr. Slurry. We are not the most likely candidates. <laughs> but since there is a need, we must do what we can to meet it. People have every kind of reason for wanting to work in the underground. Excitement, perhaps. <laughs> Mr. Slurring, we are past the age when excitement is of any major concern in our lives. Truthfully, I'd rather do anything else. I'd like to close the door and never open it again until this whole hideous thing is over. But that's me. My Lord Jesus tells me to open the door to whatever comes, to give his love in whatever way I can. And I will listen to his voice, not mine. Do we pass inspection? How many can you take? There's uh, Mama's room, and there's your old room, and there's Aunt Anna's room, and Auntie Beb's room, and with our three rooms, there's seven. And uh, we can share a bed if we have to. So, our hotel is ready for guests. Not quite. What do you do if the guest who comes? You will have a visitor, a young Smith. Actually, it's two husbands. Over a hundred years ago, they were joined together. The one in the front is two rooms deep and one room wide. The one at the back, here, is three rooms, one on top of the other. Papa, this is Mr. Smith. Mr. Smith? We know some Smiths in uh, Amsterdam. Are you the Smith family that uh, makes uh, the this country? this is the man I told you about. He's come to inspect the house. Oh, a building inspector. Do you have the offices on uh, Pasteur no, Street? No, Papa. He is not a building inspector, and his name is not Smith. Not Smith. Excuse us, Papa. We must look at the rest of the house. The parlor. Meal times. That's a favorite hour for a raid. Watch your waste baskets. And ashtrays. We need to be as high as possible. It allows for the best chance to reach a safe place while they search below. Uh, these are old bedrooms? Yeah. If the raid comes at night, they'll have to take their bedding. But make certain the mattress gets turned. Favorite trick of the Gestapo, feeling for a warm spot on the bed. What's up there? Uh -huh. The roof is directly above. Uh, who sleeps here? I do. Perfect. The ball will go here. there is a distinctive marking. You can always tell Flynn start work. Yeah. 
lovely day on the street. I'll come for a juice later. Good. Ach, Herr Tembom. Friesian. Such beautiful wood. My father made a case like this once. Oh, he spent months building it. Polishing, oiling. It uh, is just a shell. It needs a complete set of works. What price will you be asking? Well, it will take some months to be ready. Name a good price. Exorbitant even. I'll pay. I like the clock. I can't afford the best. But it has no perks. None. Very well. Tuesday, Herr Tembom. On Betsy, how many times do you have to be told, take the sign out of the window when it isn't safe? Oh, Kick. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Grandpa, look. Tea, Mr. Smith. Oh, thank you. in our Bible class. Yeah. Milk. Paint. Paint. Elsie Constra. I know her name. I, I just had to sort out a few faces. She must be in her 20s by now. I heard yesterday that Fred Constra works in the food office. Well? They issue ration cards. We'll be frank. We have had some unexpected company. First a baby, then a man, and now last night a couple. All Jews, Mr. Constra. Why do you tell me? There are only three of us left at home now. My father, my sister, and me. And our ration cards are just not enough. All ration cards are checked. Accounted for in a dozen different ways. Yeah, yeah, I, I know. I, I should not have asked you. I thought perhaps you could advise me. The food office at Utrecht was robbed last week. The men were cold. And shot. If it happened at noon, when just the record clerk and I were there, we'd have to be tied and gagged. How many guards do you need? A hundred. I know someone who might do it.
better not send us anyone wider than me. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord, we ask your blessing on this hiding place. <laughs> I'll eat that what you like. Helen, uh, sure it, it is not kosher. Let's go not mark. Would you pass the potatoes? Oh, my God. Go, 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 go. Go, lady. One on each side. Spilling it. What about you? Libby, that rubs in your mother. Come now. Corey. In 15 seconds. Oh. It's long enough to curdle the stomach. Peace of the Lord God of Israel. Stand outside, stand outside and I pray. I was told you had the accommodations. Well, we I will to. require a room to myself, quiet for study, and preferably with no children. Well, can you take me in? Well, yes, Good. I suppose so, but there are many questions but that I... I would like something to eat. Last meal was yesterday. Thank you. At noon... This is a kosher house. There we try. They have many requests that we're not able to... And there are no children? Well, not at present. But they come and they go. Let them stay gone while I am here. Is this the way? Yeah, but I would first My like to talk to you about... My contacts have told me that most of your guests are transient. That they are on their way out of the country. Yes, most of them, yes. Well, I will not be. I am a teacher. And chief counter for the congregation Beth Kodesh. I will not be driven away by these grinning Siegfrieds and their thousand-year Reich. Who is this man? A patriarch like Isaac or Jacob, father of nations? Uh, Papa, we have a new guest. Uh, this is my father, Mr. Tenboom. Papa, this is Mr. Weinstock. Mayor Weinstock, pleased to meet you, Tenboom. God willing, and the accommodations proving suitable, I will be staying with you until this nonsense is over. You are welcome. Thank you. Just stand by my room, please. Thank you. Aunt Betsy. Oh? My friend Jan needs a place to stay for a while. He got away from the transport. By noon tomorrow, he will have new identity papers. But where did you get the uniforms? Not all Germans are Nazis, Aunt Betsy. Is it Jan? Corey, hmm? Mr. Weinstock refused kitchen duty again. He has to study. If he wants to eat, he's got to do his share of the work. Where is he now? In the parlor. Oh, can I have his uh, Oh, uh, excuse me, I'm right, sorry. Dear. Corey, he's already been upset today. He found out we call him Ursi behind his back. Eusebius has great dignity. He should be flattered. He reminds us of a scholar. But a Gentile scholar. He said we should have at least called him Josephus. Rules are rules. Mr. Weinstock, my sister tells me that you have Mr. refused... Mr. Boom, I am praying. First, you refused to work on Saturday because that was the Sabbath. Then you refused to work on Sunday because that was our day of rest. I was simply trying to pay respect to the practice of this house. Well, today is Tuesday. Tell me, Miss Tenboom, why you have found it necessary to give me a nickname? 
We have called you Ursie simply yes, because... Yes, it is the kind of name you give to a pet cat. As a guest in your house, am I no longer entitled to respect? We are getting completely off the subject. However, as it seems to give you both satisfaction, please have the courage to use the name to my face. You want Ursie? Ursie it will be. Ladies. Papa's anniversary. Oh, no. Uh, 54 coupons for cream puffs. Well, tell Mr. Clausen it's for Papa. Corey. Corey, that blouse and that skirt. You just can't not today. Listen, down. You oh, look man. like a flag on a mud boat. You've always liked this blouse. Oh, the blouse is beautiful, and you are beautiful. But the combination of you, the blouse, and the skirt is impossible. Tembo, you are a most singular man. And for such a great man, there must have been a great woman. Now, this is uh, not exactly a song. It's uh, more a, um, a blessing. It's, uh, it means, may God bless you. May he protect you. And may... His face shine upon you. to be born a Jew. I am sick of being expected to bear the burden of suffering for the entire world. Because my mother's name was Stein. So, you will be another Esau selling your birthright for a mess of pottage? I don't want your great Judaic heritage. I don't want any part of your Lord God Jehovah. It is no easy thing to stand in the palm of God's hand. Oh. Yes, I go to the door. Yes, 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 I go. Nine five two seven. Nine five two seven. Nine five two 
Have I ever remembered him? Did he ever used to pass messages in church? numbers. What do they mean? Oh, different things. Instructions, mostly. Instructions for what? Well, there could be a pilot down somewhere. Uh, the numbers could be coordinates for picking him up. Or maybe for blowing up a Nazi supply train. Things like that. Sabotage? He could have blood on our hands. For Holland. Does that make it right? Lying, stealing, killing? Whatever helps Holland is right. I need the message on Cory. They're waiting. What will we be like when this is over? Thank you for being so prompt. I've heard a great deal about you. About your work. I'm afraid it is my father's work. Not a watchmaker. Your other work. You mean with the children? We've had to disband the class. Mr. Bohm, many of us who are in no position to publicize our feelings are in great sympathy with what you're doing. People call your house God's underground. Are you trying to trap me, sir? Using the name of the Lord is not the way. If it were a trap, you would be down the hall talking with the Gestapo. This will go no further. And why did you send for me? I want you to pass this man's name on to your friends. Who is he? Businessman. He betrays people to the Gestapo. The going rate is 75 guilders a head. Just pass it on. They'll take care of him. If I could do what you ask. It would be the same as killing him myself. I can only put him in the hands of the Lord and ask the Lord to reach his heart.
do that, Mr. Bob. The demons are out tonight. I would assume you could sleep through anything. Some tea? Thank you. You know, Stembo, you and I are very much alike. Stubborn. Tough, determined. You still don't do your share of the work. They're the same, yes. But I am more so. So, I win. Did you know that I have a wife and small son? Precisely. I do not choose to expose myself. They got away. At least I think they did. I will not go around like the others, begging for sympathy and reassurance. You know so little about each other. You busy yourself with our needs. Surely you have some needs of your own. It's people like us, Mr. Embaum, raging torrents behind the stubborn jaw. No torrents. You might say my life has been boring. Till all this. Until of this. Was marriage never considered for the daughter Stenbo? Betty was always unwell. She was told she could not bear children. So she chose not to marry. And you? I had a young man. But I was not cut from fine enough cloth for his family. I lacked grace. Still, I was the first woman to be licensed a watchmaker in Holland. <laughs> and you have your father. And you have your religion. Is it enough? More than enough. God has been good to me. Yes, sir. I think he has. And I think I shall be going back to my bed. I will pray for your family. Don't think that you will get me to peel potatoes, Miss Dembo. that needs repair? I need 600 gills. I've 
hurt you, sir. You call that? I don't understand. It's my wife. She's been arrested. She's Jewish. That's a lot of money. There's a policeman who'll arrange everything for 600 guilders. And then she'll need a place to hide. Someone is calling for this within the hour. Mr. Jan Vogel. He's from Ermelo. His wife's been taken. It's for a bribe. Oh, you are impossible. Now, here. I'll take care of it. Now, will you please go to bed? Wil Willem and Tina are coming. You can come down later. And be sure and call. I will. And use the steam kettle. I felt that today the Lord would have us read from Romans, chapter 8. What then can separate us from Christ's love? Can hardship or calamity? Can persecution or abuse? If we are hungry or poor or in danger or threatened with death, does that mean that God has deserted us? No. Despite all this, we have overwhelming victory through Christ who loves us. For I am convinced that neither death, nor life, nor the powers of heaven, nor the powers of hell itself can keep God's love from us. Nothing in the world as it is, or the world as it shall be, in the forces of the universe, creation will ever be able to separate us around the side door come on until two o'clock. Uh, Mr. Boma, I have an appointment with your sister. Mr. Uh, Vogel. I need the money. Now. Yes, of course. I'll get it. Please. Mr. Boma. Yes, everyone. Come on. Hurry. Please, Mr. Boma. Yes. your ration cards. I don't know what you're talking about. Help! Where are the juice? What juice? Help! Lord Jesus, help me! <laughs> Where are the juice? There's a secret room. 
Sturmanführer, Lebensmittelmarken und Radio. Cory! This must stop! There's been no wrong done in this house. Then what are you doing with all these Russian cards? Feeding an army? What does it say in that book of yours about obeying the government, hmm? There comes a time when we must choose between God and man. Open my door to anyone who knocks for help. Close it up. Seal the house.
Yesterday's rations, I saved it for him. Listen, I have family here. My sister, my brother, my father, my nephew, the Ten Boom family. Can you Shh. find out where they are? Maybe. Listen, I can get soap, aspirin, cigarettes. You can pay me. Then you start getting mail. Soap, 25 guilders. Aspirin, 50. Cigarettes, 100. Most anything. Can you get me a Bible? It's kick. It's safe now. Oh, thank God. Shh. On the roof, quickly. The roof. Where your family? Hurry. The Tambombs? Still in prison. That's all we know. Mama made a coverlet on my bed. It was in a trousseau. The painting by the mirror is a... Lord bless this angel. Bless you. What do you think? You can last here doing that, praying. The only way to live here is to hate. 
hate can put you in a worse prison than this. I have been three years in this hole. I worked my way to a position. And I live to get the swine who betrayed me. Now that's 75 guilders. Are you cold? It seems reasonably pleasant. I'm sorry. Now, you are here for violation of the rationing rules. <coughs> Would you mind telling me where you got these extra ration cards? Sometimes they just appeared. What do you mean, appear? Pushed under the door. Sometimes they were handed to me in the market. By whom? A uh, Mr. Smith. Mr. Jan Smith. Will you tell me about your other activities? My sister and I held Bible classes until such meetings were forbidden. And we worked with retarded children. How? Excuse me? How would you work with them? We taught them about God. <coughs> what a waste. <coughs> if you wanted converts, surely one normal person is worth all the half wits in the world. In the eyes of God, one simple child may be worth more than... A watchmaker's daughter. Perhaps. But I know he keeps me always in his sight. You actually believe that? I believe that you are in his sight too, Lieutenant. Tell me, Miss Tenbaum, how can you believe in a God who lets an old man die in prison, his body forgotten somewhere in a pauper's grave? My father? I understand he was taken ill after about ten days. He was taken to a hospital in The Hague. Unfortunately, there were no beds available. He seemingly died in the hallway. Some failure of organization. Under such circumstances, when no one claims the body, it is difficult to trace. I know where my father is, Lieutenant. That will be all, Miss Tenbaum. Oh, you have news from home.
Help us to do. You want us to die for a little Nobody skin? This is not Thomas, I can't. There will be no exception. Where are you going? Toilets, please. Cowards, use the drain holes. Please understand, she has been very ill. Quick, 
off your sweater. Hurry. He'll send us back here after we shower her. Yes, yes, you can. your word and hidden it through everything. Now open up a way for us to get it through the gates of hell. It's in God's hands now. Next. 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 Name. Jan Miller. Class. Classification. Criminal. Next. Ten form. Elizabeth. Classification. Uh, political. Next. Ten form. Cornelia. Classification. Political. Next. Next. Peter. Lisa. Classification. Political. Next. Classification. small observation upon which your life depends. There's only one road to freedom. Work. Get it up. Hoch damit. Hoch. Beeilt euch. Macht schon. Schnell, anheben, hoch, dummes Volk. Hochheben, bewegt euch. Geht zurück. Geh schon, geh schon. 
Schnell! Schnell! Dutch. Some of my people are Dutch. On my mother's side. You are not the only one surprised to be here. I thought I would be working at a relocation center. Refugees? An accurate record is essential. I know my way around hospitals. I was a kind of nurse once. I assume that is why you're assigned here. A midwife. I brought Jewish babies into the world. You are never to touch the things in here. Soap, vitamins, painkillers, yeast, quinine. I have the only key to this cupboard. However, you will find that I often forget to lock up. I hope you understand 66685. God doesn't make mistakes. How is it at the hospital? Is it true your temperature has to be over 104 to be admitted? That's the rule. There's a guard in the laundry who can get underwear for a price. What does she want? Red rations. Oh, don't cut too much. What do you want? Hair or lice? learn to love the little darlings. The guards won't step foot in this life spit. Past the door, we can do anything. Even lies.
Why do they keep us so long? To break us. I was certain no one would die. That we would all go home. Days on the train. The Lord seemed to promise. How could I have misunderstood? Oh, dear Father, help me. Oh, let me listen to my voice and think it is yours. Show me how to live in this place. You do love him. Consisted of painting only small dots of pure colors on the canvas. And color blending was achieved by placing dots of different colors next to each other. And then, from a distance, the two colors appeared blended into one single new color. Jesus Christ has made it possible for us to, to have direct access. In the second movement, there is a ritardando at the end of the third bar. Da, 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 da.
You find room. German whores. We ran them through the hospital. Infected. Miss What's the yellow batch? Grace defiler. Caught her with a Slavic laborer. She's just a child. Thank you. 
gone over. Rub it. Rub it in. A whole transport of Poles came in last night. Archer. You should know. I have an under eyes to the front. It is full. No. Two days preparation. My comb. Rub hard. Rub it in. Thank you. Oh, the sky is so peaceful. You politicals don't want anything to do with trash. You're all trash. Lumbering, unmen. You would like to go in the park? No light, no water. Huh? Un no, you will say never uh, do anything that stupid again. Comfort the frightened. Help the weak. Be patient with everyone. Do not repay evil for evil. But always try to do good to one another. Always rejoice. Pray constantly. Give thanks in all circumstances. For this is the will of God in Jesus Christ. And to the mindless, the word sounds so comforting. In this place, it's mockery. God didn't make this place. Men did. But he has power. Surely he could stop them. Unless, of course, he's a sadist. Oh, no, he's love. All love. Then he's impotent. You can't have it both ways, my dear. You see what's around you. We see another world, just as real. Our life with God. Every day, it gets deeper and stronger. You think the two can't exist side by side, but we know they do. We live them both. It's enough knowing that we are so much done, moving from nothing to nothing. But you must believe you are God smells that stench from those chimneys and refuses to do anything. If only you could know his love. I am Maria Prochek, first violinist of the Warsaw Symphony Orchestra. Did your God will this?
if he cannot answer? All I can say is that the same God you are accusing came and lived in the midst of our world. And he was beaten. And he was mocked. And he died on a cross. And he did it for love. For us. And why do you think you, a God of love, sent you here? To obey him. If you know him, you don't have to know why. First, you take the juice of four oranges, then a half a pint of cream, then a cup of sugar. I only use three quarters of a cup. You should use a full cup. Then you put the peels aside for grating, and you whip the cream. What kind of cook are you? You forgot the eggs. Do your own recipe, then. We need more sand. Cory. Cory. Don't shut me out, please. You know you can only give it to Jesus. Do you think I haven't prayed? But I hate them. I hate every Nazi in this place. We can't be more than what we are. Only Jesus can free us from ourselves, from whatever happens. Sister, you can't protect me. You mustn't try. things I do not understand. Do not let me go mad. Poking about on my own. You know what I am. Savior. The center of your will. How long? Four months. What's it to you? You would like to see me cry, wouldn't you? Then you could murder me. I only want to help. What difference would it make? Everything dies here. A crop, a lousy little whore. We need vitamins and all the calcium you can get. And you are so damn not easy. Two years older, she'd be standing over you with a whip. Oh, it's a baby, Katya. A new life. I am not your personal Red Cross. I can never get enough for you. And her. And Betsy, too. What are 
were you doing? Nothing. I was just... I said, what were you doing? We have a pregnancy in 28, a kid of 18. I do not want to know. All pregnancies are transferred to experimental. Vitamins. It'll help keep your soup down. We even have a midwife. This German slop has to be good for something. German paper stick, like German hits. It's a lot of hot air. The Yanks are halfway to the right. So, we'll put some hot air between you and the wind. Katya, thank you. Funny about you two. Oh, tell us. We need a laugh. You're always talking about love. I bet neither of you ever had a man. <laughs> we had boyfriends. Mm. Did you love your baby's father? I was hungry. He was nice to me. You're so strange. Will it be fun? I can't. Then try. It goes like wood. <laughs> Oh, I'm so weak. Oh, thank God he is strong. Katja! Katja! That's it. Try, please. Try. Yeah. Mm. Uh, you know, Corey, we're... We're going to be 
free. Before the new year. Both of us. Both of us. The Lord showed me in a dream. You'll see. Report to the Lagerstrasse. Please let me stay with her. Roll call! transferred to the hospital. Prisoner 66730 request permission to accompany her sister. What is the count? Block 24 dead. Block 21 three dead. Block 22 six dead. Go on. Block 23 clear. There should be more. Count again. See. Sister. Thank you, Corey. Thank the Lord for all he has done for us here. We'll be warm soon. Together. You and I. Always together. Here, just tonight. It's so cold. This way we would have two blankets. If God loved pets. 
loves you so much. Why? Suffering does not mean that God has stopped loving us. Sometimes you have to accept things we do not understand. I love Betsy, and I love you. is the sister. Corey, you must look. Otherwise, you'll never know. No pit is so deep that he is not deeper still. They will believe us because we were here. Betsy talked about heaven like she had already been there.
No one would wish her back. Read for Betsy. Read for all of us. For we know that our earthly bodies, those we have now, it will die, must be changed. For our heavenly bodies, it will not die, but will live forever. And then the scripture will be fulfilled. That death is swallowed up in victory. So, my dear ones, since future victory is sure, be strong and steady, always abounding in the work of the Lord. For we know that our labor in the Lord is not in vain, as it would be if there were no resurrection. And this is the good news, that Christ died for our sins, according to the scriptures, and that he rose again, just as the prophets had said. For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten son, that anyone who believes in him shall not die, but has eternal life. is with you. What is it like to die? When you and I go to Amsterdam, when do I give you your ticket? Just before we get on the train. So with that, when the time comes, our wise Heavenly Father will give you all the strength you need. Yes, 
Prisoner 66730, Tenbohm, Cornelia. Tenbohm, Cornelia. Sentence completed, 21st, 1244. Sign. What is it? Prisoner certifies that all treatment received during her imprisonment has been adequate and humane, and that no accidents, illnesses, or injuries have occurred. Sign. Years later, it was learned my release came through a clerical error, what some might call a mistake, not long after I was set free. Women my age were put to death. Yes, I am Corrie ten Boom, in my 80s now. Some questions remain, but they are not to be feared. Our Heavenly Father holds all things in his hand, even our questions. As for myself, in the years since Ravensbrück, the Lord has sent me to some 60 countries. And I have told to anyone who would listen, no pit is so deep that he is not deeper still. With Jesus, even in our darkest moments, the best remains, and the very best is yet to be. I promised my sister I would tell it, and I tell you.